Little Hat Jones was a very important bluesman from Texas. He recorded a bunch of tracks by himself, as well as accompanying the uh, famous Texas blues singer, Texas Alexander. This is a tune called Bye Bye Baby Blues. Great tune, and it's quite different. It's again, we're going up another step from our last one. This is pretty faithful to the way uh, Little Hat is playing it. So take a listen to it. We're in the key of G in first positions, but check out what he's doing. So a lot of stuff happening in just the first three frets of our guitar and just using a G, C, and a D chord with a couple of maybe G7s and D7s thrown in as well. And when you listen to the Little Hat Jones recording, his recording of this, he's playing mighty fast, mighty fast. Now when my suggestion is about putting the vocals on, if you're interested in singing the songs, I just love playing them as guitar instrumentals. I just think they're so interesting. But if you're going to sing the tunes that are on this lesson, what I suggest you do, make sure that you have the guitar parts down pat so you don't even have to think about them. Then you can add your vocal and you can focus and concentrate on your singing. Because singing is just as much an art form as playing the guitar. And you want to be able to phrase the lyrics and put it together. And that's a, a real big job. So one thing at a time, and what we're focusing on is just your guitar picking. So let's take a look at this. What's interesting in this, for me, is how he goes into a C chord here. And then he has this rundown. Okay, so the first thing, we had that already, that idea of using our middle and our pinky on the second fret and third frets of the third string. And our bass is just alternating between the six and the four into the C chord. So nice and slowly. C chord. Now, so what he's doing here is keeping his pinky on the third fret of the first string, his ring finger basically he's echoing a G7th, then he's moving down with his middle finger to the second fret, index finger the first fret, open. So it's a descending bass. Reverend Gary Davis, when he plays this type of lick, he'll go, this will be his full G7, then he'll play a C chord, then he'll play an, an E flat 7th there, and that's just like a D7 chord, but you're moving that up one fret, but you have to finger the first fret of the fourth string. So in order to do that, you're fingering 
gets changed so you're using your pinky, ring, middle, and index. The little hat, and when he's picking it, he's plucking the first and the fourth, and then hitting the second. So that whole first sung line. Into the C. G7. C. C. G7. D. Okay, let's try that. D, D7, back to a G. So let me play that one more time, because that was a little sloppy. G7, D. Alternating bass, just repeat that lick. So from the top up until there. C chord. Descend the bass. G7. C. C. G7. D. D7. And now. Just with that alternating bass. And then just like we began. C. So that's the whole thing. A lot happening, an awful lot. Let's try to split the screen I'm going to try to play it as slow as humanly possible. You take a look at your tablature and you try to play along with me. Eventually you're going to want to try to play along with Little Hat Jones, but for now, play along with Stefan. Here we go. <laughs> 